Oh yes, thanks for joining us guys. In today's video, I'm going to be installing our LPG's gas bottle in a DIY homemade gas cupboard. Stay tuned. Okay guys, just before we get started, please hit subscribe below, it really helps us out, thank you very much. Also guys, I just wanna point out that I'm not a gas engineer at all, I am totally a DIYer. Please do not do as I do, do your own research, but this is just to give you an idea of what we have done and how we have installed our gas bottle. We have done some research on uh, the European regulations and our gas cupboard does conform to those regulations. Except the gas hose, they say that you shouldn't use more than 800 or 750 mil of flexible hose. Now we haven't used more than 750 mil of flexible hose, but the stipulation says you're only allowed to use the flexible hose when you're using a burner outside or like a portable burner. But ours is a fixed hob inside the van. However, I wanna to hasten to add that we will turn off the gas bottle with the tap right on top of the bottle every time we stop using it. That means that there's no risk of leak when we're in bed or when we're driving. Also, if there is a leak in the unlikely circumstance, we've got a drop vent in the bottom of the van. LPG is heavier than air, so it will drop out the bottom of the van. Anyway, this video took about four days to make because I was doing it in and out, on and off, of doing other things, other bits and pieces, and I also had to wait for some deliveries like the draft excluder for the door and the latches for the door and stuff. So yeah, I might be wearing a few different pairs of clothes. Here we go. So I'm gonna begin with measuring my gas cylinder. So I'm gonna make the frame about 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Okay guys, well, as you can see, I've done the little frame now and uh, the gas bottle should fit in there just fine. There we go, it's slightly oversized, but kind of deliberate. Now I just need to put some sides on the box and uh, get it in the van. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna run some silicon around the join between these sheets and the frame, and then that will uh, assist in sealing up the box. As you can see, uh, I've just come in the van to think about where I'm gonna fit the box. It's gonna be in this location behind the kitchen here, but I need to move the heating ducting and I've also had to remove the drawer that the toilet was on. Today is a new day and I'm really excited because I've almost got the ca gas cabinet in now. So uh, I'll just show you quickly. So this is the cabinet itself. There's the door on it. I've got some draft excluder coming to put around the edge. Uh, it's not pretty, but uh, it's functional. So down here, that's the dropout vent there. We've got the heater pipe going out the side there. And the, uh, the cabinet itself actually fits perfectly in that little square just in front of the rear uh, wheel arch. I'll also show you underneath so you can see where I've cut the hole. Hopefully you can see the hole it's just there. No obstructions or anything. So yeah, just about to get it in. I'm just gonna stick some hammerite around the bare metal that I've just cut for the hole. It's now in, you can see the drop out vent there. I'm gonna be putting a little grill over that. That's coming in the post as we speak. You can see it's all sealed up. It's not pretty, as I said, but it's uh, it's all sealed and safe. So um, once I've got the draft excluder and the latches on the door, then uh, I'm very, very confident that this is gonna be airtight, apart from the hole, which is what we want. Um, she's in the uh, cupboard, all strapped up there. As part of the regulations say that it has to be a minimum of two straps. Um, you can see the dropout vent just behind there if it focuses. 
Hello guys, welcome back to another day. <laughs> uh, this is day number three on the gas locker now, but I'm almost there. I'm still waiting for the draft exclusion tape stuff to arrive and also my latches for the door. But apart from that, I'm just about there. I've put the uh, dropout vent in and I've also plumbed in the pipe into the cabinet, sealed around that. This is uh, what I've done so far. So you can see down there the drop vent that came in the post just this morning. So that's in there. Then we've got the two straps for the bottles and the pipe comes in at the top. It's all sealed around the pipe uh, and on the other side. Um, I did it at the very top because gas sinks and you know, just common sense. Um, if there was a leak or whatever and there was a little gap around the tube, then at least it's at the top, it's least likely to get out. Just got to put the gas bottle back in now and uh, connect up the regulator. So the regulator that I use is this one. I got it from the Gaslow website. It's designed to screw straight onto the gas bottle. It's got an opposite thread for safety, I guess. And um, I first picked up um, this idea of this type of regulator from Van Dog Traveller um, and his ebook, which I used a lot in the first conversion. So now here's a little trick from me. Because I need to loosen up the pipe to fit it over the barbed end, if you drop it in boiling water, then it really softens up the rubber and gets it on the barb a bit easier. I've got some boiling water in this garner's jar. Unfortunately, there are no pickled onions left. So just soften this up and then it should slide on the barb of the regulator easy enough. There we go. So the regulator's on the pipe now. Now I'm just going to pop the bottle back in the cupboard and uh, screw it on. Okay guys, here it is finally on day four <laughs> of doing the gas locker. It's finally finished, uh, it's all nice and sealed and is supplying gas to my hob now. I've just got these two latches to open the door and then you can see the, uh, the seal all the way around the aperture to seal when the door's shut. I filled any suspicious little potential holes in the door with a bit of Sikaflex just in case. Same with the inside of the locker itself. You can see my bottle there with two straps, my dropout vent at the back, and then my bottle mounted um, regulator on the top there. And I know that I've used flexible pipe and a lot of people don't do that, but I'm using this flexible pipe because the only joins I have are there on the regulator and underneath the cooker. That's the only two joins that I have. There's a tap on the top of the uh, bottle just there and we will turn it off every time we're not using it. So it'll be off when we're sleeping and when we're driving. Um, but anyway, if there was a leak, then it would go through the, get the dropout vent out the bottom there. Um, the flexible pipe, because we've used flexible pipe, we've been very careful with our routing of it. And we've used these uh, rubberized clamps. I don't know if you can see in there, uh, all the way around so that the pipe isn't rubbing on any edges or anything and it goes through the back of the locker up there I'm not sure if you can see that um, and it's all sealed around there again with those rubberized clamps um, so that it doesn't chafe on anything and potentially split the pipe is also set to take 20 slash 60 bar of pressure you can see it here on this off cut that I've got um, I'm not sure if it's 20 or 60 or somewhere in between but regardless um, we are nowhere near that we're at 37 millibar because that's what the uh, regulator dishes out um, you can see here it's high pressure propane and butane LPG hose um, and the manufacture date was July 2019 so I've got plenty of time left on this one so yeah thanks a bunch for joining us guys um, this has been the gas bottle installation um, and the, well, I should say the gas cupboard installation. Um, the gas bottle is an 11 kilo gasset tank and it's got a tank mounted regulator. As I said, I have used flexible hose, but please do your own research. I'm not a professional gas engineer or anything like that. This is very much a DIY how I did it rather than how you do it video. So please bear that in mind when you do your installation. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Over and out.